Hi, my name is Fischer Froble and I row with the South African rowing team. I just have become very interested in what nourishes us, what is really good food for our bodies, keeps us performing, keeps us happy, healthy, really a feeling of nourished. And this doesn't just apply to sports. Um, I mean, I think to every person wants to be healthy. Um, every person wants to feel alive and well and happy and these things are really influenced a lot by food. I've been following the paleo diet for about seven years now and I just, I love it. I love what, how I feel and, and what it means to me. I really encourage people to, to pay attention to this. Go for those foods with less packaging, more real whole foods. If you add up all the little bits of things that you ate that had preservatives in, even though at that time it was just small amounts, at the end of the day they add up and, and that affects your happiness. You think sometimes your happiness is just about you're in a bad mood, but sometimes the things you eat will cause you to be in a bad mood. Um, let food be thy medicine. So with that said, I just wanted to share with you some things that I've got in the kitchen. Uh, I've been working on a couple of projects and I just thought it would be fun to share with you what it looks like here. So last night I made this uh, polenta kale pie and uh, it is really delicious. Then I made some kale chips. I took the rest of the kale from my pie and then put it in the oven and now this is just going to be a healthy little snack that I can just enjoy. The stalks, as you see with kale, I stripped the kale leaves off the stalks um, and then just used the, the leaves. And this I put in my garden as compost. Then um, I've got some almonds here that I've been leaving um, overnight. All nuts I believe in soaking. It's almost a form of sprouting. And then I'll put this in the oven and, and just bake these. The smell of almonds baking in your oven is like cake. It is one of the most wonderful smells. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do here is our local OK Bazaar had a special, special on cucumbers. And I'm going to pickle them. So what that means is I'm going to use my mandarin, slice them really thin, um, put them in some salt to strain the water out. And then in the slow cooker, I've got the, the, the pick, pickling liquid going. It's just a bit of white vinegar, um, some sugar, I've put um, caraway seeds in there and, uh, and then letting that boil and so But let's look here in this little fridge of mine, some other things that I've been working on. So I made my own uh, jellies um, with peaches that we got from Lesotho as I went out of training camp and um, I've sprinkled them with coconut. I cooked the the peaches in the slow cooker to the pulp puree and then added gelatine um, that I have found at a whole store um, natural gelatine. <laughs> I only will have one now. I've just come back from a run so this is really nice. Next year I've got my sweet potatoes or um, that I've cooked in the oven and um, so now anytime I just need a little bit of a snack after training and something I just eat one of these. Um, also so yummy. This is an excellent source of carbohydrates. People always say to me on paleo, how do you get your carbohydrates because I'm not doing breads or pastas. Um, but this is excellent for carbohydrates. I made some guava jam. Um, so I just cooked up the guavas again in the slow cooker with a little bit of sugar. And then I added also the gelatine again or you could use pectin. Um, so that's my guava jam. Here is all my my peach puree um, from those peaches in Lesotho. So now this I can use also as training food. It's kind of like baby food um, also, but you could use, I put a little bit of protein powder in this with this and then um, away I go. I also made a, a spicy peach chutney um, and also painted all these jars. So that's pretty fun. I made a peach um, like braai or barbecue sauce. Um, this is delicious. Here we go. A date ginger peach jam. Um, it's very resourceful with all those peaches. Um, here I have um, 
ginger that I juice myself and then I just add a little bit of lemon and throw this um, and throw this in my water. So that's that's what's in my fridge and my projects that I that I've got going. Mm -hmm. 